Hi, third grade. Today we are going to wrap up unit nine, week two. That means we only have one more week left of unit nine. So let's get started. A, R, car, R. O, R, horn, or. E, R, her, er. I, R, bird, er. U, R, burn, er. A, R, beggar, er. O R Doctor Er S I O N Television Jun S I O N Mansion Shun T I O N Vacation Shun Great work. Okay, next I want to look at just these bottom four newer um, Unit 9 words of the day that we have had. Okay, this word here is survive. Say it, survive. This one is minor. Say it, minor. Surrender, surrender. And lastly, instructor, instructor. Which one of these words has a suffix? Hmm. It's instructor, right? Instruct is a base word. An instructor is a person who instructs with that O-R vowel suffix. All right, which one of these has an R syllable exception? Right, surrender. Yeah, those two R's that follow the vowel that's an R syllable exception, and it makes that vowel short, right? Very good. Okay, now I have two, four, six, eight, plus one extra. So nine words back here. And you'll notice that at the end of each word is our spelling option. We've talked a lot in unit nine that at the end of a multisyllabic word, which all of these words are more than one syllable, at the end of a multisyllabic word, what can say er? What options do we have? I'm going to put our options right here. Do you remember them? At the end of a multisyllabic word, what can say er? Right, we have a, r, beggar, er. O, R, doctor, er, or simply R, E, R, her, er, ending. Okay, so calendar. Which option are we going to use? And if you need to use your spelling options tool, please do. I do believe these ones might be all in there. So take a quick second. Try to get faster. All right, let's, let's reveal what is it. A R bigger er calendar. Let's go this way. Flavor. What makes what option are we using for the er sound? Look it up. Hand up when you're confident. All right, let's reveal. What is it? O R doctor er. Good job. Here we have lobster. What's making the er sound at the end of that multisyllabic word? All right, reveal it. E R. Good. Sing er. Hmm. This is almost a base word, and this is a suffix. So when we're dealing with suffixes, we're only dealing with these two options. A person who sings. Is it O R or E R for sing er? Go. E R. Good. All right, let's do this one. This is another one. Bank er, a person who works in the bank. Is it O R suffix or E R? E R again. Good. All right, let's go to this next side. Reg. Uh oh, I messed up with my scooping. I need to fix that. No mistakes there. Sorry. My first syllable should be reg. Then we have open U lur. Okay, that's better. What goes at the end of the word regular? A-R-O-R-E-R. -R -E -R. Look it up. 
All right, reveal, what is it? AR, good work. How about solar? Something's powered by the sun. It has uses solar energy. S what's saying it? Good job, AR. Okay, major. That's the opposite of our minor, right? Major. What is it? OR. Good work. Governor. Governor. Hmm. Well, this is actually almost a syllable too, because this as I'm as I'm looking at this, it should be govern is the is what the governors do. A governor is a person who governs over a state or an area. Gov earn er. Is that O R or E R? This suffix is O R. Very good. All right, nice work, third grade. Go ahead and get out your composition books for our day five checkup. All right, for your day five checkup today, you should be in your composition book and turned open to page 36. What page? 36. So go ahead and turn there now, please. All right, at the top of page 36, you're going to quickly put today's date at the top. And then yes, in the corner, I know it's hard to see, I did check the checkup box. So you know what that means at this point. I'm going to dictate sounds and words and sentences for you, and you are going to do it independently. Are you allowed to use your resources and tools to help you? Absolutely. All right. So sound number one, soul. Say it, soul. One thing, write it down. Sound number two. R, say it, R. One thing, go. Sound number three, or, say it, or. One thing for this week. <laughs> Next week that might change. All right, number four, write small. Er, say it, er. Write all the things that say er. Okay, review word number one. Struggle. I struggle to tie my shoes. Struggle. Spell it and mark it. Review word number two. Pock it. Pock it. I left the candy wrapper in my pocket. Spell it and mark it. Review word number three. Catch. Say it. Catch. I tried really hard to catch the football. Number four. There's a base word. Inflate. The whole word inflatable. Circle the suffix. I used an inflatable raft when I went swimming in the pool. Inflate. Inflatable. Spell it and mark it. Current word number one. Sturdy. What's the word? Sturdy. If something doesn't wobble, it is sturdy. Use your spelling options if you need to for those are controlled. Number two, thunder, thunder. After lightning, normally comes the sound of thunder. Spell it and mark it, please. Number three is a compound word, yardstick, yardstick. There are three feet in one yardstick. Yardstick. And number four. 
narrate, narrate. If you want to tell the story, you want to narrate the story. Spell it and mark it. Sound alike word number one, heard. I heard the alarm going off, heard. Sound alike word number two, berry. My favorite berry to eat is a strawberry. Trick word number one, water. Drink lots of water so you can stay hydrated. Water. Trick word number two, Mrs. My name is Mrs. D'Amico. And now for the grand finale, your one sentence. This was a major task to complete. That's it. This was a major task to complete. Go ahead and check for capitalization, punctuation at the end, and please scoop it into phrases. This was a major task to complete. All right, third grade. Thanks for doing your best, and I'll see you next time.